After a total of 262 days, Melbourne, Australia is coming out of lockdown. Everything is opening back up, the city is regaining its livelihood, but your girl, uh, she is not ready. So today, we are glowing the f up. This is what we're working with. Where even is my tanning man? Pretty much just me up with the bleach, like as long as you can get me. Ah! Damn it, I should have booked an appointment. This is getting a little my spacey, isn't it? I'm so nervous. Good morning. Oh my god, that was the biggest yawn ever. Guys, I'm so tired. It is 9.30. I got up at like 8, but I didn't go to sleep until like 2 a.m. Back in the day, I feel like sleeping from 2 a.m. till 8 a.m. would have been fine. Like that would have been an ample amount of sleep. Now, I'm like... I literally feel hungover, dead, deceased, jet lag, like all of the feels. Um, but it's 9.30, I'm about to go get my nails done. It is the first day of Melbourne being out of lockdown, which is very exciting. Also low key, very nervous to be leaving the house and to be going out and doing things. Um, I'm just going to get my nails done today. Well, I hope I'm getting my nails done today. Um, your girl. She didn't book an appointment, which was really stupid. I don't know why I didn't think to book an appointment. I checked like the place where I go to's Instagram and Facebook today and it didn't say you had to have an appointment. It just said you can book. I think I didn't book an appointment because I never have for this place or like for nail salons. I always just do walk-in, but because there's obviously limits to how many people can come in at a time, I'm like, maybe I should have booked. <laughs> An appointment i don't know the nail salon opens at 10 it's a five minute walk from here like i can literally see melbourne central from here and it's in there so i'm just gonna rock up at like 9 45 15 minutes early and hopefully hopefully we can get in yo my nails look absolutely awful so does my tan but we shall do that tonight my hands are like my biggest insecurity ever they're literally like little sausages and getting my nails done is something that i've always prioritize maybe it sounds stupid but i'm just really self-conscious about my hands so usually a girl like always has her nails done i've been living off press-ons all of lockdown and the thing with press-ons is that i rip them off like as soon as i put them on so this is what we're working with there's so many cool nail designs on pinterest but i think i'm just gonna do a french tip moment like a rounded french tip i'm just gonna play it safe also i feel like if i go in and be like, I don't have an appointment. And they're like, okay, we can fit you in, what do you want? And I bring out this extravagant nail art situation. They're gonna be like, are you like, are you kidding? Maybe that's just all in my head. Anyway, I'm gonna do a little white French tip rounded moment. But yeah, let's go. Um, I'm so nervous. Damn it, I should have booked an appointment. I'm not gonna be that person where I'm like, you have to get me in. Like, I know I didn't book an appointment, but I don't care. Like, if they go, we can't get you in, I'll go, okay, see ya, bye. Like, that's my fault, but I'm also like, can you please get me in? Good morning! Oh my god, guys. Okay, it is 7.45. I just drove to Bond Beach, which is like, I don't know how many kilometers, but like an hour out of Melbourne. I've driven here to come and get my hair done. I don't know if I've told you guys. Actually, yes, I told you in the last vlog when I was driving to High Point, but I'm not the most confident driver like I used to be, but I'm not anymore. But the hairdresser that I go and see, she works at a salon here now rather than one in South Melbourne. So when she was like, I'm opening back up, like I'm doing appointments from Saturday, October 23rd, I was like, oh my god one i have to go see you because i like love her so much she is like the best at doing hair and two like that's the day before my birthday like oh my god can i get an appointment anyway she booked me in for 8 a.m so i'm here i'm here 15 minutes early but i am so exhausted i think because i'm not the most like confident driver also because i have my nails and i feel like i'm very like but because I'm not the most confident driver, all night last night I was like so worried about the drive here. And then I was also worried that I wasn't going to get up. So then I like couldn't sleep because I was like, oh my god, like what if I don't get up? Like what if I miss my appointment? Because my sleep schedule has been so bad. So I'm running off of four hours of sleep, but I'm very excited to get my hair done. I'm going to just tell her to make me as blonde as possible, like pretty much just 
hook me up with the bleach like as blind as you can get me. I do want to keep a little bit of dark at the top this time because I had been doing that in Vancouver, like a little shadow room, and it helped so much with not getting my hair done frequently. And when I got my hair done in June, I posted a whole like hair makeover vlog. If you haven't seen it, I'll link it below. Also, you are sitting like in the weirdest spot in my car, so I'm kind of like to the right, but your girl doesn't have a car mount. But back in June, I went like super blonde and I didn't get a shadow root because I was like, I'm going to start getting my hair done all the time. Like, I don't need a shadow root. I'll get my regrowth done. Um, and then we went into lockdown and I ended up with like, as you can see, the harshest transition. So I'm like, I don't want that again. Like, I'm so scared <laughs> of like either not being able to get an appointment or we're going into lockdown. So I'm going to ask for a little bit of a shadow root. I have some inspo pics that I'll show you. So as you can see, it's just super blonde with a little bit of brown at the top. This girl is like the hottest bitch I've ever seen in my life. Like, are you kidding me? Also, last night I had like a revelation. I think I like my skin better without fake tan, which is a turn that I didn't think this glow up vlog would take. Like last night I exfoliated, I went to put on my new tan. I was like, I'm gonna have a fresh tan for tomorrow because tomorrow's my birthday. And then I was looking in the mirror and I was like, why do I feel like I'm glowing? Like, why do I feel like my skin is so nice without the fake tan? So I didn't do my tan last night, but I can do it tonight. <laughs> Like, go back on my revelation, but I feel like I'm going. Okay, I feel like I should message Cal. Also, I have a four hour park, and I don't know if this is gonna be long enough. What if I have to run out here with like a full head full of foils to move my car at like 12 p.m.? Oh my god. Maybe I'll just get a ticket. I would honestly think I would rather pay the ticket, not that I can afford the ticket. Okay, besties, anyway, this is my official before. Let me take my glasses off so you can really get the regrowth moment oh it's so soft you know when you wash your hair and you're like damn okay shouldn't need to be greasy okay this is my official before stay tuned to see what it looks like Okay, this angle is really bad, obviously, and this lighting is really bad because I don't think the lighting in this car right now does my hair justice. Um, and there's also a bunch of people around right now, so I'm like, eh, I don't really want to film. So I will show you my hair, but I will show you at home. Maybe we can surprise Cal again. Also, I'm like pointing with the key. Hey, let's go. Hello? Hello. What do you think? Sorry, you could be in the middle of the dusting. Oh, wow. <laughs> do you like it? It looks awesome. Very blonde. No more roots. <laughs> okay, guys, this is the hair. Look how much blonder it is. Oh, my God. I'm so obsessed with looking at myself and not having rigor. Like, I did ask her to keep a little bit of that at the top so that it looks like a bit more natural. And my roots actually, like, wouldn't lighten up as much as they normally do, which is really weird because my hair normally, like, really takes to product and lifts, especially bleach. So it was kind of, like, meant to be a bit lighter than this. Um, what the f***? See that? Girl's not used to having nails again. Um, it was meant to be a little bit lighter than this, but I'm still so obsessed with how it came out. And next time I go, I'll be able to like fully lift it and it will be even blonder. But man, I am just so excited. I also feel like with this color blonde, it's gonna match my extensions like absolutely perfectly. Like, I'm so excited. Um, I also am about to cave and put on some fake tan. I still love the pale look. And Kel has been trying to convince me like all afternoon, like don't tan, like you look so good. But I feel like for my birthday, I'd like to be a tanned goddess, you know? So I think after this tan, I wanna do like no tan November and just like take a break and let my skin reset, refresh all the good vibes. But this is the her. Oh, I can't wait for it when I'm tanned. Like I feel like it's gonna look like a hundred times better. Like. I don't make the rules. She also just cut the ends off as well and then cut my little like curtain bang in more. Tell me why, actually no, I'll tell you why because they're f trained in nails. But it's like, tell me why hairdressers are so good at curling hair. Um, I wish I could curl my hair like this. Ah! Anyway, okay, I'm gonna do my tan now. It's like 4 p.m. So if I do it now, I'm gonna wash it off before I go to sleep and then I'm gonna wake up, have another shower and that's when the tan's gonna be a lit. Woo! 
I feel like I'm just way too excited that it's gonna be my birthday now and that I have my hair done. I have you sitting on two bottles of that spray that you get for your ears when you get your ears pierced so they don't get infected. So hopefully you don't fall off. I don't think I've ever shown you guys any of my tanning routine, but I use the Latan Uber Stay in Ash Base. I use this to the point where I had friends send this to me in Canada. Like you like couldn't buy this in Canada. So shout out to my friends for literally like helping me get through those two and a half years. So I'm gonna put this on. I exfoliated last night, so I'm all like prepped and tanned. I want to talk to you while I do my tan, but I also don't want to just be like naked and then you see me, you know? Like, mm -hmm. where even is my tanning mitt? Is it in the wash? That would be like a very classic thing to happen right now. Classic bougie right here. Oh, actually, I think it's, I think it's in Cal's office. That's where we dry label the laundry. Oh, bada bing, bada boom. It was in there. Okay. I also just had a second coffee. It's like 4 p.m. I realized that I've had 10 hours sleep over the course of two days. I feel like every time I speak to you guys, I have no f***ing idea what I'm saying or like what's going on or like... I don't even know what this video is like. I don't even know what I've filmed and haven't filmed because I just feel like I'm so out of it. Maybe if I put you up here. This is, oh my. Ah! This is getting a little my spacey, isn't it? Can you see me? Like if I talk to you, is this weird? Ah! I don't know. Okay, hello. I am not going to lie to you guys. It has been over a week since those last clips, like the clips you saw of me doing my fake tan. Yeah. Okay, a lot happened. It was my birthday. It was a very chaotic week. So the glow up kind of got paused, but we are not giving up on it. I am about to get ready today. So I'm going to go get ready. I'm going to put on some makeup. I'm going to do my hair. I'm going to put on a cute little outfit. The sun is shining. Kel is due home. I actually have no idea when he's due home, but I'm going to say in like an hour or so. So I'm going to get ready. We're going to take some pictures. We're going to finish this glow up because I low-key was kind of freaking out on how I was going to end this video. I was like, do I just like delete all the footage? But no, we're going to finish this. Okay, she is done with literally nowhere to go. It's 6.30 p.m. And after I film this, I think I'm literally going to, well, take some more pictures and then wash this off and go to bed. But anyway, I am obsessed with how this has come out. I feel like my hair looks so much blonder with the extensions. Like it just matches so well. I'm so happy with that. The curls at the front, I struggle with them every single time I do them, but it came out so nicely. The makeup, why is it always when you're not going anywhere that your makeup comes out like absolutely stunning? But I really like it. I didn't put any fake eyelashes on, but I feel like I'm loving just my natural lashes. So I just have like a little singlet and a skirt on from Princess Polly. But yeah, this is the final look. Thank you guys for watching, hanging out and glowing up with me. I know I kind of dropped a ball and this is a week later, but it doesn't matter. We got through it together. Anyway, if you've watched this far and you haven't subscribed, you should definitely subscribe because we're basically best friends now. So be rude not to. But I love you guys so much and I'll see you in the next vlog. Bye. Fuck. <coughs> down, yeah. I've been feeling so, I've been feeling so down, yeah. Can you tell me why? Can you tell me why?